Hey guys, I wasn't really going to record anything today, but I'm sitting at work, and I saw a real bad wreck where a tractor, or a, a truck, that was pulling like a dozer or something like that, it was one of those type of trucks, it had pulled out, and it looked like a car had come and went almost under the, the trailer. Half of it was smashed, and... I don't know. I, to me, it looked like the car was at fault because the truck was, I mean, it was at the very end of the trailer. So, I mean, it's not like the truck was like just pulling out. I mean, it had been out for a while. And you know how slow trucks are when they're pulling out, especially pulling a big load like a, like a, some kind of, I don't know what it was exactly. I wasn't really paying attention. I learned it. I know it was a trailer like that. So I just want to tell you guys, you be careful. And then also on the way, just as I was pulling on a bridge going over the Arkansas River or Arkansas River, whatever you want to call it, there was a little Miata-like thing. I was there was a truck beside me over here, which I was passing. No, I was getting ready to pass. And uh, I was in the center lane. The car there's a little Miata-type car coming up real fast in front of me. There's a truck here, truck here, and there's just a little bit of room right here. The, the truck was right in front of me. And this car came, darted in front of me, and then darted right between those trucks. And I don't know what they were doing, but it looked like it almost hit the, the car almost hit the wall because I seen it jerk back and the truck had to slow down. You know, guys, be careful. Oh, and then a bike like a custom built bike type thing and a guy he was zooming in and out of traffic wherever you're going isn't important so important that you're going to risk your life and somebody else's life i just don't understand people like that i know i understand i get aggravated with a slow driver in front of me but i'm not going to go and do that that's just i don't know guys slow down and if you're if you're in that much of a hurry leave earlier I don't know, but that, that first wreck, that was, that was scary, because, I mean, in fact, I had, I was just going through a light, and it turned yellow right before I got to it, so, of course, I went on through, and then I, I kind of topped a hill and went down a little bit of a hill, and I saw some lights behind me, and I, I thought it was the policeman coming after me. I thought, oh, great, but it was a fire, the fire, a suburban, I don't know what you'd call them fire chief or whatever but it was him and he was going to that wreck he was the first one there and then i pulled up right before he did or right after he did so i don't know just be careful when you're driving on the roads i don't know if the the person in the car was texting or what they they just weren't paying attention it had to be their fault because the truck was already in fact the truck it was a, a four lane with a turn in the center and it was uh, the actual truck was already through pulling on to the to the first lane or the i guess it was the inside the outside inside lane so i don't know be careful people it's just not worth it trying to get in a hurry to do that anyway that's really all i gotta say today i actually recorded a thing yesterday while i was here but i didn't publish it because I don't remember what I said on it so I guess it wasn't that important. The moral of the story be careful. Other than that my day's gone good. My I got some batteries for this camera this morning that I ordered from Amazon. I bought some Wasabi batteries like Colin Bloodworth did. I know he did for one of his so but it came with two batteries and a charger that you could either plug into a wall and it had a car charger that you could plug into it so I can do it while I'm traveling, and that's really what I wanted, so that's really all I got today, so I guess I will see you guys the next time, and uh, be careful out there, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.